हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू लेसन नंबर फोर वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्स एंड दिस इज द सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ द इंडियन इकोनॉमी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डिजिटाइजेशन वॉट आर द वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ डिजिटाइजेशन राइट uh in this video we are going to see specifically about the status of digitization in our country okay in our economy uh we have seen previously what is digitization etc but now we'll see what exactly is the status in our country as on today so if we look at the previous uh, uh you know 10 15 years uh we see that digitization has slowly taken pace into our country Uh, with the advent of modern technologies like uh, you know computers internet social media then recently technologies like artificial intelligence blockchain technology our economy is also picking up and india if you uh, know that is a power house of computer technology right we are one of the super powers when it comes to uh, software and uh, information technology it industry so definitely our economy has kept pace with digitization and we are uh, you know uh, not behind the most advanced countries um, when it comes to digitizing our economy so we'll see what is the status and what are some of the challenges also so there has been a significant growth in our digital economy in the previous uh, you know many years and that has positioned us as a global leader in digitalization okay so we can very proudly say that our country is one of the leaders when it comes to digitization now let us look at some of the facts and figures to uh, corroborate our claim the first fact uh, is that all of you uh, should know that as of 2024 the current year india's digital economy accounts for approximately 10% of its gdp which is a huge number so our total gdp uh if say it is uh, around 3.5 to 3.7 trillion dollars then out of that 10% of this is the share of the digital economy so it is a huge share and the projection indicates that it will reach up to 20% in another 2 years by 2026 so you have to of course check the current affairs whenever you are watching this video maybe you are watching this video in 2025 or 2026 or even after that you check if this claim is true or not if you are watching it in the future so uh, but it is projected that by 2026 it will be 20% of our economy so keep checking the current affairs for this now there is a report of uh, you know state of india's digital economy uh, uh, 2024 it ranks india third among the g20 countries okay so usa is first china is second and we are only third in the entire world so we are definitely the leader when it comes to digitalization at individual user levels india stands at 12th place in the entire world when it comes to using the digitizing uh, digitalization uh, or using the digital technology at the individual level as of january 2024 india has had more than 75 crore internet users again see it is a huge number 75 crore meaning 750 million internet users okay this is more than the population of so many countries also and it is 52.4% of the current population so almost half of our population is using internet as on today which is an increase of more than 1.9 crore from the previous year so in one year only we have added almost 2 crore people using internet and you have to again check the latest figure because this is something dynamic it will change over the years uh which will be useful for you for the answer writing also now uh if we talk about the uh you know uh, the data cost in india you know that we are among the lowest in in the in the entire country, in the entire world our data cost is just 13 rupees per gb okay which is only about 16 cents and this is obtained from rbi okay which is again a uh, 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 you know one of the cheapest uh, data that is there in the country so that you know uh, even the poor people can use internet and digital technologies 
फोर जी नेटवर्क आर एक्सपांडिंग एंड देर इज एन ऑन गोइंग रोल आउट ऑफ फाइव जी नेटवर्क ऑल्सो सो दिस इज जस्ट द बेसिक्स दैट यू शुड नो देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट यू नो द डिजिटल पेमेंट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिजिटल पेमेंट यू वॉन्ट बिलीव वी अकाउंट फॉर फोर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल रियल टाइम पेमेंट वॉल्यूम्स सो यू कैन सी दैट ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ द टोटल ग्लोबल पेमेंट्स दैट इज हैपनिंग थ्रू डिजिटल सिस्टम्स half of them happens in india half of the total digital payments of the entire world happens in india 48.5% which is a huge number again the source is rbi then you know startup ecosystem we are the third third largest startup ecosystem in the world with over 140000 startups in our country and more than 100 unicorns again rbi has given this data so unicorn is you know a startup which has become successful which has turned into a big company so that is a unicorn now this is again a big number 140000 startups um using digital technologies and we are the third largest digital startup ecosystem in the world what are the various government initiatives uh, towards digitization of indian economy let us look at them obviously the digital india initiative comes to your mind which has expanded the digital infrastructure in our country and uh, 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 you know um, there are several other initiatives also let us look at them one by one now the first one is the digital india initiative of 2015 what are the areas uh, key areas to build digital infrastructure in the country which includes expansion of broadband highways universal mobile access public internet access programs these are some of the key areas governance and services on demand like e governance services digital delivery of services online access to government records okay the uh, one of the examples would be obtaining your maybe caste certificate online or applying through uh, an internet or a web portal for uh, you know uh, your land record etc so these are some of the digital services then digital empowerment promote digital literacy availability of services in local languages this is also a part of include including you know people across different regions into the digital ecosystem then the bharat net project bharat net project is basically uh, you know to connect the 2.5 lakh gram panchayat in our country with high speed broadband and as of 2024 as on uh, you know the uh, the recent data over 1.9 lakh gps are already connected out of 2.5 lakh so this is again a matter of great pride for us that we have reached uh, we have made the high speed internet reach the remotest gps also then the next one is the upi system unified payment interface it was launched by npci which is the national payments corporation of india uh, it enables real time payments instant real time payments uh, at a click of a button and india leads in the world with upi processing over 9 billion transaction per month in 2024 so this is a huge number again aadhar and jam trinity this is another initiative so basically uh, you know aadhar is a biometric based unique identification system which enables digital verification for services like subsidies banking and welfare programs all of you know that lot of dbt transaction they happen through aadhar linked payment systems jam trinity is basically to streamline the dbt transfer again jam is basically janthan aadhar and mobile number so that the government benefits can directly be transferred to the beneficiary account and not involving any intermediary and over 6.64 lakh crore have been saved through dbt reducing the leakages so we have eliminated the middlemen eliminated the corruption in this system and we have saved almost 6.64 lakh crore rupees over the years so this is an estimate then the next one is the e governance um, initiative so uh, uh, you know e governance there are various initiative one is in agriculture sector like e nam the uh, electronic national agriculture market which is a digital platform for connecting farmers to buyers across india for better price discovery so that farmers can register there and they can sell their produce directly to the uh, you know uh, to the to the buyers of their produce without going through the intermediaries 
then e shram portal which is national database for unorganized workers to provide them with accidental and death benefits then dg locker uh, we must be you all of you must be using this it is a cloud based platform for storing and sharing the important documents like id card certificates aadhar cards driving license your 10 certificate 12 certificate everything can be obtained through dg locker through aadhar enabled authentication then gstn is basically goods and service tax network it facilitates digital filing and monitoring of gst returns then the next one is a digital literacy so uh, pradhan mantri gramin digital sakshartha abhiyan pmg disha to make 6 crore rural household digitally literate this is one of the schemes to make people aware about this digital technologies how to use computer and internet it promotes skills for accessing e services and participating in the digital economy so these are some of the uh, important schemes then smart cities mission also again another important uh, scheme for improve for including technology into the urban uh, you know day to day life it focuses on using digital technology to enhance urban infrastructure and governance internet of things enabled services smart grids integrated traffic management system etc so again uh, you know you can go in detail you can google what are these technologies uh, but uh, again this is a part of digitization of the economy then promotion of e-commerce uh, you know implementation of the open network for digital commerce ondc to connect small businesses with the buyers directly it supports msmes in adopting digital tools for market access so these are some of the important schemes and that i have highlighted here then what are the impact of this initiative this is important actually what is the impact so uh, the digital economy is projected to reach 1 trillion by 2026 which is uh, you know all which will uh, be almost 20 percent significant contribution to the gdp that that will be the impact of this initiative this is uh, you know expected out of it then financial inclusion uh, more than 80 percent adults now have access to formal banking services this will be the impact um, uh, you know if these uh, initiatives actually do work digital platforms and startups have created lakhs of jobs again job creation because of the startup ecosystem there will be reduced corruption reduced leakages in subsidy distribution and tax collection so these are some of the important uh, you know outcomes or some important results or impact that we have seen because of the digital india initiative or various schemes under the uh, you know digitization of economy so uh, this was the status of the indian economy when it comes to digitization this definitely helps in better resource allocation and mobilization uh, in the pre in the in the next video we'll uh, we'll continue about mobilization of resources with a different topic thank you